I just wanted to thank you guys for taking this opportunity to take a look at this video. Uh, my name is David Lapine. I live in Westwood, Kansas. I am a lifelong resident of the state of Kansas, uh, born and raised in this part of the world. Um, I grew up in the restaurant business, started my first job in the restaurant business probably when I was 10 or 11 working in the family restaurant, also catering. Um, and we always cooked as a family, um, extended family. Um, cooking was when we got together every week and uh, had an opportunity to see each other. Um, my mom was a big influence on my cooking. My dad, as a restaurateur his whole entire life, obviously uh, was a big influence on preparation, timing, and execution, and making sure that everybody goes away happy. Um, back in 82, my dad had an opportunity to buy a small Wendy's franchise, three or four stores. We built it into 15. Um, in 92, I went to go work for him in the Wendy's business, and I did that for over 10 years. And I uh, learned a lot about people. Um, I learned a lot about the restaurant business. And um, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed the aspect of creating food to make everybody enjoy themselves. I like to take that into my barbecue and make sure that each time I do my barbecue, it might not be the same every time, but once somebody says or tell, once somebody says that I hit it right or it wasn't right or it was awesome or they didn't use sauce or it's all gone, I know I did something right and I try to repl replicate that every time. Um, I started out smoking my own meats back 20 years ago and developed a great rib recipe. I do a wonderful pork butt um, uh, and brisket of course. I live in Kansas City where there's tons of barbecue. Everybody knows the famous ones, Oklahoma Joe's, Gates, Bryant's. They all do really well but they usually do one thing upset, uh, exceptionally well. And so I like to take what Gates does to the ribs and emulate that, emulate that to what I do. Uh, Oklahoma Joe's does a great pork. I try to take what they do and do it to my recipe. Um, over the years I've developed uh, different recipes which you'll see tonight. Um, I'm going to be making a chicken spadini lapini which is basically a chicken spadini recipe which is uh, pretty big here in Kansas City and basically it's a, a chicken with a maggio sauce but we've kicked it up and we cook it out on the grill. Um, I'm going to be doing barbecue pizza. I assume you probably won't have had barbecue pizza like this. Everybody's doing it on the brick oven and we're going to do it on a rotisserie and I developed it through just you know chance and, and taking a risk and doing it and um, everything's scratch. I make everything from scratch. Um, obviously uh, um, the dough, the sauce, um, the creations. We're going to be having margarita pizza tonight. Um, I got fresh basil in the gar from the garden so we'll be using that. We got tomatoes from my wife's co-worker brought fresh Roman tomatoes from his garden. Um, another pizza we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a St. Louis style pizza which basically is like a Provel cheese and pepperoni because I absolutely love St. Louis style pizza even though I can't, you know, St. Louis is kind of our rival, I'm not going to go into that. And then we're doing a basic uh, pepperoni pizza for people. We got some kids here tonight as well. Um, also, um, I'm going to be doing a go-go shrimp and it's one of those recipes that I've developed over countless uh, years of just, you know, cooking for the family. Um, around holidays, Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas and and it's developed to the kids taste where they you know wouldn't just eat shrimp we had to wrap something around it so we started wrapping prosciutto around it and then my wife came up with the idea why don't we add goat cheese to it because we probably just had goat cheese that day so we did and then we changed the marinade up um, and it's just it's called go-go shrimp because it just go-goes right off the plate I know it's corny but um, and then we're going to be doing tacos, um, just basic, te you know, Mexican street tacos. It's going to be uh, uh, carne asada tacos and uh, 
it's, it's a big thing we're going to cook it it's going to be a skirt steak it's going to grill up real fast we're going to probably cook that on a uh, we're going to cook that on a, uh, a cast iron skillet and it'll just sear up real fast and just be wonderful um, basic um, you know fresh tortillas bought today uh, diced onions cilantro and some in some sauce um, barbecue contest thanks again for this opportunity I think you're gonna see a lot of me in everything we cook I know that's cliche but it's the truth and when somebody has developed barbecue recipes over the years and tried them out on their family as guinea pigs and they're accepted and they want it more and more it pays off in the long run I don't know what this contest is but if you're looking for a neighborhood barbecue team are we a team yeah we're more of just buddies and family that like to get together and cook barbecue and eat barbecue and have some adult beverages if needed and uh, have a good good time doing it so um, barbecue in Kansas City go hand in hand so thank you again and uh, if you have any questions let me know Oof.